Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve keyboard lag in Windows 10. So if you notice that when you're typing and you notice it appears that the buffer is taking a while to load the text on the screen, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve that. So we're going to jump right into it and we are going to start by opening up the start menu. Just left click on the start button one time, type in troubleshoot. Best match, you're coming back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and left click on that. So now you want to go select additional troubleshooters. And now underneath find and fix other problems, you want to scroll down and select keyboard, find and fix problems for your computer's keyboard settings, and go ahead and select run the troubleshooter. So it says that nothing was found or necessary, which is good. That tells us that we're probably all right. So we're going to go select close. See if that resolves the problem. You can also try disconnecting and then reconnecting your keyboard as well. A couple more things I want to show in this tutorial as well. And the next thing we want to try is open up the start menu. Type in device manager. Best match. Should come back with device manager right above control panel. Go ahead and just left click on that. You want to expand the keyboard section, double click on it, and then right click on whatever keyboard is listed under there and select update driver. Select browse my computer for drivers and then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select whatever standard one comes up here and then select next. Should say it has successfully updated your drivers. Go select close. And you will need to restart your computer at this point, so we're going to actually go ahead and restart it. So go select yes. Okay guys, so now that we are back, another thing we can go try if you're still having an issue would be to open up the start menu once more. Select the setting gear icon on the left side where you hover over it, it says settings. Go ahead and select that. Select the ease of access tile. And then select keyboard on the left side, so you might have to scroll down underneath interaction, select keyboard. And where it says sticky keys, make sure that's turned off. Toggle keys, make sure that's off. And then filter keys, make sure that is off as well. Once you have ensured that, hopefully that should pretty much be about it, guys. I mean, there really isn't too much more to say at this point. Um, one more thing, you know what we can try here would be to close out of here. Now just talking about it, I think there's one more thing we can try here. Go back into the start menu, type in control panel. Go ahead and select that, should be the best match on the list. And we're going to select the view by, make sure it's a large category view. Select keyboard. And now you wanna make sure your repeat delay and repeat rate it's approximate here. You can zoom in on your, my screen if you want to see it. Right now, my repeat delay is the second from the shortest, so it's closer to short. It's in the middle, but it's one notch closer to short, and the repeat rate is as fast as it can go. And I know we're making a video about the keyboard and not the cursor, but you can see where my cursor is here as well. It looks like it is one, two, three, four, four from the end. So not including the end, so one, two, three, four, five. So five including the end 
is where my cursor blink rate is and like I said the character repeat only has four different intervals you can pick from you can see where mine is and the repeat rate is as fast as it can go all the way to the right and then you just would select apply and okay if you have to make any change so just one further thing you can look into on your end but hopefully one of the methods I went through was able to resolve your problem and as always thank you for watching and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye